to meet you. And this, this is Joanne and Susis. How do you do? Rob? What are you doing out here all by yourself? I don't know, I just... I just got this feeling that... This is the last time I'm gonna see home. I've got uneasy feelings too. God brought us together for a reason. Like he, he knew we would take care of each other. Hey, don't you worry. We're gonna kill some crowds, all right? And tell Trudy not to eat all the pie before I get back. <laughs> Timberlin and Blake. Last night in town. What are you boys doing? Sitting out here, wallowing in self-pity. Uh, not quite. Well, the three of us are gonna cause a lot of trouble for their fewer. for that patrol this morning. They're supposed to be back by 1300 hours. Hey fellas, just passing the word along. Our friends in Abel broke through the line last night. We've got orders to cross the Rhine. Get your duds and ammo together. We're set to take off at 0600. We'll do, sir. We'll be ready. Lieutenant, did Sergeant Williams come back yet? We haven't gotten anything. Sorry, I know Timberland was a pal of yours. If you need anything, let me know. Thanks, sir. Like, what are you doing? I'm going to look for Rob. No. Are you crazy? Did you not just hear Lieutenant? We're crossing the Rhine. I'm not leaving him behind. I couldn't live with myself. Creek Road. You remember Stone Creek Road? It's been a long time. Used to lead us to the best fishing hole in town. <laughs> Sister Harlan would get so mad at me. I forgot about that. Hey Matt, would you believe me if I told you that Robert used to sneak me out of St. Vincent's every Saturday morning just so we could go do some fishing? used to get into a lot of trouble for doing that. Seems like a long time ago, huh? You know, wet in a line doesn't sound too bad right now. What is it, Blake?
all over the place. the last six months trying to keep our buddies alive. SS troops are scattered from here all the way to St. Gore. That's Blue Dega thought. Better grab what ammo you want. We're gonna need it. We're going after him. Revenge not yourselves. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Would you stop preaching at me? You just want to drug my way out here. You, you just want to go back after finding this? I came down here to find Robert, not take out a whole SS element. Yeah, well, this kind of changes things. That's not what we came here to do, and it's not gonna help anything. So what? We already got a court martial waiting for us. Don't bring him back, all right? It's done. About a year before Pearl Harbor, I, uh, I left my family, headed west. Thought I wanted to be a rancher or something. You know, my parents couldn't pay the bills if I left. Did it anyway, though. Thought I had to get out of there. Once we joined the fight, I enlisted as soon as I could and tried to go back my three-day pass before I shipped out, but got back there and the landlord said they'd been evicted almost a year ago. That doesn't make sense. You never told me that. Sometimes I wish I'd never even gone back. That way in my mind they'd still be I guess back home where they should be. God knows where they are now. Maybe that's why I didn't want to come out here. Let's just get those tags and go back. Corporal Matthew Nichols. Do you understand that your presence here is to answer for your actions on March 16 and 17 of 1945? Yes, sir, I understand. Very well. On Friday, March 16, 1945, at approximately 1900 hours, you and PFC Thomas Blake voluntarily abandoned your post and did not return to it until the following day at 1300 hours. Permission to speak, sir. Speak. Sir. Corporal Timberland was never given a chance. All the men on that patrol were stamped as dead when they didn't return on time. Leaving for the Rhine without giving them the benefit of the doubt just didn't sit right with me, sir. They deserve a chance, sir. Blake, this is Robert's radio. He's not here. Robert's not here. Let's go.
infantry! Before I issue the findings for your records, do you have a statement to make? I ordered PFC Blake to leave his post and to come with me, sir. And what makes you think you have the authority to give such an order? I didn't, sir. Soldier, your dereliction of duty and desertion of your unit, regardless of your reasons, resulted in the death of another soldier. Yes, sir. And I'll live with that every day. Well, I'm not going to give you the chance to do it again. You're going to be turning in those stripes and I'm confining you to the battalion stockade for three months. After which, you will be leaving this army. Consider yourself lucky. I could have put you in front of a court-martial and you'd probably end up in Leatherwood. Housing. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to reach Mr. Matthew Nichols. He's an old friend of mine. Mr. Nichols? Yes, I, I was told he may live in your apartment building. I'm afraid the name doesn't sound familiar, but a lot of uh, common folks come and go around here. Yeah, I haven't seen Mr. Nichols since probably December last year.